Last time we were able to get started with uh, the process of changing an email. So we, if we make a change to the email, we click the check mark. Now this dialog box will pop up. Now we need to actually work on the code inside this dialog box. So let's hop on over into confirm password dialog. And the first thing I want to do is instantiate the confirm button and the cancel button because those are the easiest things to do. So just do text view cancel dialog equals text view view from view ID or ID dot is like dialog cancel. And then cancel dialog, set on click not that, on click listener, and on click listener. And I can just do a log uh, closing the dialog, and we just do get dialog dot dismiss. And that's going to do the exact same thing as if I was to click outside the dialog. It just dismisses the dialog. And so now we want to do another button for confirming. So I'll do uh, con confirm, uh, I guess, dialog. Confirm dialog. This is dialog confirm. And that's the same. And so now inside this method, I guess I could do a log also too. So confirming, I guess, uh, captured password and confirming. Sure. Now we need to capture that password and submit it to Firebase and re-authenticate. And we could do it inside the dialog, but what I want to do is, is keep this dialog kind of plain because right now I could easily create a new dialog class, name everything exactly the same, create this, and everything would work fine. So I don't want to add a whole bunch of code in here if I don't have to because I want to make this reusable if I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an interface that's custom to this this situation. And we're going to submit the password back to the edit profile fragment and then and then go about whatever we needed to do. So let's create a new interface up here. And we'll go on confirm password listener public void on confirm uh, password and we're just going to pass a string and it's going to be the password and then we need to create that so on confirm password listener and on confirm password listener and then we need to insert our um, on attach method down here so on attach and we need to catch the class catch class cast exception try and then whoops catch class cast exception e do log e as the class cast exception and plus e dot shit <laughs> e dot get message and then we need to create that so equals on for faster listener and then just do get activity and okay so in a normal situation if I was gonna send this to main activity which is the host activity and then send it back to a profile fragment this is what I would do I would use get activity but instead, I'm going to go directly from the dialog to edit profile fragment and skip out the main activity part. So I'm going to get get tar use get target fragment, and then we're going to go back into edit profile fragment here. And here, before I when I actually create the dialog, I'm going to go dialog dot set target fragment, and we do edit profile fragment dot this, and then just do one. This is just a request code; it doesn't matter, not important. Uh, just put any number there. And so what this is going to do is basically it's in edit profile fragment when we create the dialog it's saying okay let's create this dialog and we want to and then we set a target fragment for the dialog. So the dialog opens and then it knows that once it closes its target fragment is going to be edit profile fragment. So it makes us able to pass variables from an interface directly to this fragment instead of going from the dialog to main activity back to the fragment we can just go from the dialog to the fragment. So it definitely makes things a little easier. And so then we just go into our uh, confirm dialog method here. And we can do on, uh, was it on confirm, was it? On confirm password. Oh, the dialog first, so I'm on confirm password, on confirm password. And this is where we wanna actually capture that password. So I'm gonna do uh, string password equals, uh, what did, I, what did I name that ID? Confirm password. So we need, oh, we need the text view. So let's create the, let's create a global text view up here. So vars, um, text view and password. And then go down into on create view. 
whoops, m password text view view find ready rid dot confirm password. And so here we'll go m password get text to string. And then we want to check to make sure that it's not null. So if not password equals uh, nothing, then we want to use our interface. And then else we can make a toast, get activity, and then you must enter a password. Okay, so that, and then that, that will uh, activate our interface here. And now we can implement this interface in edit profile fragment. And the interface is gonna know where to go because we set this target fragment right here. So I'll show you, um, I'll show you it not working. Um, I'll, sh actually, I'll show you, yeah, I'll, I'll comment this out. So I'm gonna say get target, set target fragment, I'll comment that out and we'll implement the interface and I'll show you that it doesn't work. So implement uh, on confirm password listener and we can just click on implement methods here. And I like to move interface stuff all the way to the top. Just, um, just a design preference that I have. Just what I like to do. And so now we can say got the password. And you probably, um, well, in a production app, you, you wouldn't be using logs anyway. You'd be using something, you, you would have to remove all your logs. But otherwise, you definitely wouldn't want to print out a password to a log. That's not ever a good idea. <laughs> but we're going to do it here just to show you that it's working. And yeah, so I'm going to run this and it will fail because I don't have the target fragment set here. And then I'll show you it fail and then I'll uncomment that, run it, and I'll show you that it works. Okay, so apps open, let's go to the profile. And let's go to edit your profile. And we are going to go down to the email here. Let's make a change, hit save. It's gonna say confirm your password. I'll type in password, press confirm. And you can see it redirects us back to edit profile fragment. And then it takes us back to the main feed. So weird, kind of weird stuff is happening, right? It's not what we would expect. I'm curious to see if it actually um, got the password. It didn't get the password. So you can see that it didn't work correctly, right? Like it, it did take us back to the fragment, but then it kind of glitched out and did some weird stuff. So let's uh, uncomment this now. And um, actually something I did forget to do though was dismiss the dialog. So get dialog.dismiss. So maybe I'll do that and I'll show you it um, not work still in case you don't believe me. So we'll go to the profile, go down to the bottom. Make a change to the email, type in the password, hit confirm. Dialog dismisses, it takes us back to the profile, then it takes us back to um, the main feed. So you can see, and then the app actually restarts and there's no error thrown. So some weird kind of stuff happens here. You can see it's definitely not working the way it's supposed to. So now let's um, get this target fragment here and we'll rerun the app and let's see what happens this time. Okay, so we'll go to the profile, edit profile, Scroll to the bottom, make a change to the email, hit save, get the password, hit confirm. And so now you can see that the, the dialog closed. It didn't do any kind of weird stuff. We stayed on the edit profile screen. Now let's check the log and see if we got the password. So on click capturing password and confirming. And then here we have our interface in edit profile fragment saying on confirm password, got the password, password. So it's working exactly the way we intend it to work. So this is a good place to stop the video. One thing I just wanted to say again before we go to the next one is definitely if you're making a production app, don't print out a password to the log. I'm just doing it here so that you can see that we are actually capturing the password. Um, yeah, just wanted to kind of reiterate on that. Uh, so in the next video, we are going to uh, work on this method right here, fetch providers for email. Oh, no, we're not. We still need to actually we still need to actually re-authenticate. So now we've captured the password. Now we need to uh, create a method for re-authenticating the user and get an authentication token. So I will see you guys in the next video.